Gary Salo, Gold Motor Canada. Today we're going out for a little ride on the Cannibal. Got a Magic Pie Edge on the front, 4813 battery. A cycle Analyst and my iPhone 10 with the new iOS app. So I'm going to turn on my battery and see the Cycle Analyst is coming on. So now over here on the app, just going to collect the, connect to Bluetooth. You can see uh, the GM app is there and my watch. I have an Apple Watch. So I'm going to connect to the GM app. You can see the color is blue. So I'm going to go for a little ride. Now what I'm going to do, just take off nice and slow here. I'm going to look at the iOS app. And you can see on it, down here, the speed. This is how many RPM the motor is going. And up here you can see how fast I'm going. So right now I'm going about 23 kilometers an hour and I'm spinning it at about 190 RPM. So let's say I wanted to set it for a path speed. Okay, so let's slow down a bit. I like respecting people on the path. We'll take about 20 here as a setting we'll go for, and that's 164 RPM. You can see it right there. So I'm just going to stop here now. I'm going to go to the app. I guess I've got to take my glove off. I'm going to go into the settings. And here I have tons of different settings. I don't know how well you're going to see it on here. Maybe I'll have to redo this at home, but you can look through the settings and you can see the maximum forward speed that I had it set at was 299. Well, what did I say? 164? So let's go for 164. Okay, so now we're set at 164 and then you got to push this cloud down here. And you got to download the perimeter to the controller. A lot of people push upload and they wondering why it doesn't save. So now my maximum forward speed is 164 RPM. Okay. Oh, let's get back in the app here. And let's get going. Okay. So now you can see it's climbing, 147. Okay, so now I'm holding it full out. Now even though it's set at 164, it's actually rotating around 180. Okay, and I'm going about 22 kilometers an hour and I want it to go 20. So let's slow that down again. Okay so I set it at 164 so it's not real accurate because it was going 180. Let's go into it again here. Maximum forward speed. So let's try 140 this time. Okay, so it's at 140 now, and then I download it into the controller. So I'm downloading the settings from the phone to the wheel through Bluetooth. This cord at the bottom, of course, is just for charging. I have that plugged into the cycle analyst with an adapter. Uh, but anyway, let's go back here. Okay, so I set it 140. And now I'm hoping it's going to top out around 160 RPM to give me 20 kilometers an hour. Okay, so now I'm going around 161 and 20 kilometers an hour. So that worked out perfectly. So now I know if I want to ride on the path and I only want to go 20 kilometers an hour, I can set my RPM to 140. And it seems a little odd to try to remember that. But after a very short period of time, you'll remember your favorite settings. Okay, so now I'll go back out on the street here. Let's get a street legal speed. Okay, so I was going 22 when I set it to 164. A little while ago. So let's go into the settings again. So I know when I want to go on the pathways I can just set it at 140. 
This time I'm going to set it at, uh, let's see, 200. Just off the bat, see what that does. 200, confirm I saved it. Back to the app. Whoops, dropped my glove. I hope I'm getting some of this in the camera, but we'll see. Okay, so off I go. Uh, I better actually turn here. I don't have enough street going that way. Okay, hold it wide open. I set it at 200 RPM. I'm looking to get up to a street legal speed of 32 kilometers an hour. Right now I'm around 25. So 200, not enough. I set it at 200, it was going 206. So let's go back into it again here. Forward speed. Uh, what should I make it this time? 220. Let's see what that does. Download it to the controller. There we go. Back into the program. Now the reason I'm doing this is because every bike's going to be different. Every rider is going to be different. Uh, what you want to do is going to be different. So you might have different wheel sizes, you know, different thicknesses of tires. All this can have an impact. So anyway, I set it at 220 that time, and now it's going 240. Figure that one out. But we're up around 29 kilometers an hour. 30. We're going on a slight downhill grade there, though. But still, I don't think it's enough. Okay, so it's 220. Let's go back here again. The settings. I believe on the Android app a long time ago, I decided that 240 was a good setting for the for the road. Two. Oh. All right, let's go 240. Done. Confirm. Download to the controller. Confirm. Back into the app. Okay. Now, shooting to 32 kilometers an hour. And it's set at 240. still climbing. So I'm just going to pull over and do it one more time here before I cross this street. Or maybe I'll turn around. The 240 seemed a little too high and 220 was too low. Quite a bit too low. So I'm going to go with two, oops, 235. And save it to the controller. Go back into the app. Okay, so I'm just going to turn around and go back. So now it's set at 235. Rolling along good. So right now it's coming up to 30 kilometers an hour. And it's a slight grade here. set it for 140 which I'm gonna do now because I'm gonna go for a ride on the path so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna change the settings to 140 okay and download that to the controller and we're good to go there so now it's time for a ride and now we have 52.5 volts here and 52.9 here. This one does seem to be 0.4 volts higher. Not sure why that is. Anyway, let's go. So now it's set at 140. So I should top out about 20 kilometers an hour.
difference on the slightest of grades. So you'd really have to find a nice flat spot to get it right. But anyway, I have it set at 140. And this is basically the speed I like to ride on bicycle paths. You know, you've got to have some respect for people and their children. It's rotating around 148 RPM. I'd rather around 160 RPM. Can't seem to fine tune onto that spot. Go over this way. So 140 is a little low for the path. Maybe I'm going to make it 150. So again, I go into the settings. Come here. Change it to 150. Download it to the controller. Okay, so now my maximum RPM is set at 150. Hopefully it'll go up around 165 or something, which will give me 20 kilometers an hour. Just taking my time on the corner here. Okay, here we go. This is a very slight uphill grade here. I'm rolling along at about 19 kilometers an hour, which is pretty close to my desired setting. Yeah, it works out nice. So up here I'm going to be coming back out onto the road. Okay, and one more experiment for on the road. I believe 235 is what I was happy with on the road. So let's go into the settings here and change it to 235. Okay, and then download it to the controller. Okay, and then go back. So now I'm going to go for a little jaunt down the road here. And the goal is to go 32 kilometers an hour. <laughs> nice rough road. So I can see on the speedometer now I'm climbing. Yep, looks like I'm going exactly 32 kilometers an hour. That's perfect. So 235 is my ultimate setting for on the road. And uh, thank you. And then 145, or no, it's 150 on the path and 235 on the road, which gives me 20 kilometers an hour on the path and 32 kilometers an hour on the road. So that is the basics of setting the speed with the iOS app and it does a ton of stuff other than that. And I don't know if I'm going to go into all of it right now. For one, I, it's kind of bright out here and I don't even know if I can see it or if you can see it. But for now, this is just basically how to set the speed for your desired speed on the road and on the path and uh, another video to follow with all these other settings. Gary Salo, Golden Motor Canada. Thanks for watching.